Welcome back to our Financial Aid 101 series. Let's go over some steps you will need to complete in preparation for your exit counseling session. First, visit studentaid.gov. Log in near the top of the screen. Your login is the same information that you use to complete your FAFSA application. Once logged in, you will see your dashboard. We will review this information in greater detail during your exit session. For now, select View Details near the top of the screen. In the My Aid section, we are looking for a link to download My Aid data. Here, it is pictured near the top of the screen. Click on the link and take note of the warning displayed. If you are downloading your aid data on a public computer, be sure to follow these instructions to protect your personal identifiable information. A text file will download. Usually, the file will go to your downloads folder. Make sure this file is in a location where you can find it later. Now, open another tab and visit AAMC MLOC. Sign in using your ERAS login information. If this is your first time logging in, you will be prompted to indicate your marital status. It's important to note, if you're planning on getting married before the end of this year, make sure you select Married for your marital status and indicate if your spouse is a physician or non-physician. Near the top, select Med Loans Organizer. Now, find the Upload Aid Data button just below the top bar. This is where you will import the student aid data you saved from studentaid.gov. Find where your file was saved and select Upload. This will import any of your federal student loan data directly into the AAMC calculator for both graduate and undergraduate study. If you notice that your loan dates or interest rates look a little off, this is nothing to worry about. We'll discuss this information in your exit session. That's it. You're now ready for your individual exit counseling session. Be sure to bring any questions you may have with you. Thanks for watching. See you soon.